Welcome back, 823, your time. They're the men and women who keep our country running, and there's a new show to make sure that they get the recognition they deserve. How America Works chronicles the tough jobs carried out every day by America's unsung workers, and a name you probably recognize is behind the show. Mike Rowe is the narrator and the executive producer, and he joins us now live this morning to talk about it. Mike, good morning. How are you today? Buck, I'm living the dream, or whatever this is. I'll, I'll call it a dream. Let's talk about the show, How America Works. It debuted last night on Fox Business. Tell us kind of about the premise of the show, and also the, what are some of the differences and the similarities, maybe, to some of your other popular series, like Dirty Jobs, Somebody's Got to Do It, those kind of things. Sure. I, the truth is, I've been doing the same basic show for the last 20 years now. I just changed the <laughs> title every seven or eight years. Uh, <clears throat> it started with Dirty Jobs back in 2001, and it was an honest attempt to showcase the men and women who keep civilized life on the rails. That is the goal of this show as well, but unlike Dirty Jobs, I'm not actually immersed in this one. This is more like a fly-on-the-wall look at 10 critical industries. Right now you're looking at uh, timber up in Alaska, and so we learn a lot about the timber industry, but we do it through the eyes of the men who actually do the work. Here they're drilling for oil in western Pennsylvania. It's a small family-run operation that nobody's really ever heard of. But when you look at the ins and outs of what it takes to get the oil out of the ground, an interesting thing happens. You, you begin to understand exactly how you personally benefit from their work. Whether it's going inside of a turbine there in the Hoover Dam or commercial fishing on the high seas, it's just, a, just an honest look at, forgive me, I'm just going to call it real work. I don't mean to suggest that other forms of work aren't real, but this is the kind of work that is unmistakably work. And the people who do it are unmistakably dedicated, and it's a privilege to tell their stories. You know, the last year and a half has certainly made us take notice and appreciate things that we may have taken for granted in the past, like supply chains, like lumber prices in these industries. What really stood out to you about or surprised you, I guess, about the lumber industry and how that works? Well, the first thing, when you look at the size of the trees that are taken and when you look at the number of trees, you can't help but go, oh, no, that's we're taking all the wood. And then you learn that they're planting roughly twice as much. It's, it's a remarkably uh, fungible and, and, and stable and sustainable industry. You also are just blown away by the magnitude of it. The amount of timber that this country alone requires is staggering. It's simply staggering. The chair I'm sitting in right now is held together with the stuff and probably you as well. And so again, it's, it's, a, it's a micro macro sort of thing. Right? You can't help but be struck by the hugeness of the industries, but you're also struck by, by the smallness and the intimacy of each individual who's immersed in the work. And you get the same feeling, whether you're on the commercial fishing vessel, whether you're in the forests up in Alaska, or whether you're drilling for oil. It's a, it fosters a sense of appreciation, while at the same time satisfying a chunk of uh, natural curiosity. It's a good mix. Very interesting. Mike, thanks a lot for your time this morning and thanks for the good work you do. I was able to watch the, uh, the lumber one and really enjoyed it. Looking forward to future episodes of How America Works. Thanks, Buck. I appreciate it too. All right. Talk to you again soon. You can catch How America Works Monday nights at 8 o'clock on Fox Business Network.